Plains Games with Jay. It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. Woo! We all saw Miyu drop the sign and watch, all, watch the river carry downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled down, uh, down river towards the chapel, correct? It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there, but that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Hold up, didn't me stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall across the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion, the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept up uh, away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happen have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only pa uh, objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know, but Shuichi should know, right? What? We would be in a lot of trouble if he didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you! The viewer! No, it's Because it's definitely not Jay. Oh so how my are they connected? God. Do you know Shuichi? What are you? Do you know Shuichi? Uh, well, what we know so far is that the unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Uh, what's the question? What clue is related to the unnatural way the signboard was carried through the carried on the river? Um, um, it might have to do with the wall that only objects can pass through. Whee! The sign should have stopped at that wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that hap uh, wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through, I see. It's a wall that only non-human object, uh, non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? The only way I could do that is if the wall was a warp zone, but it's not, right? That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion side? What would explain that? Leave it to me, Shuichi. Ah, your partner will give you ten hints and type. <laughs> it's in what are you trying to say? Tits. I'll Tokishi. give you hints and high times of trouble. Just like uh, me, you late new. This is the. Whoa. You can move that. What? Whoa, what the f- I did not know that. That's so... Can we do this in other Danganronpa games? I don't know. This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Huh? The hell is- <laughs> I'm gonna bark. What the hell does that even mean? Kokichi might be on something here, or there. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. The worst cameraman in the world. <laughs> How did the signboard pass through the wall uh, downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? <laughs> oh, it's even then? What if both ends of the river were connected? Huh? Both ends of river connected? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. Anut. Anut. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Manji. 
Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right, even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall. It wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. Wait, in that case... I got it. I know why Mio only set up one wall. Yeah? What are you talking about now? The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and, and mansion walls... Uh... The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall? It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual, virtual world. Shoop. The idea is, if you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi, just tell us! Shh, it's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch! If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? The secret, huh? Yes, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. Mystery of the virtual world, virtual. What? What's the? What is the unique feature of the virtual world? Nope. Does it start with a D? You dingus, dingus, J. World. Where's L? World. 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 What is that? P. Okay. Here, theme park. World. World. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what the answer is. World. Listen, I gotta get my uh, watch your suffering out without Abracadabra, so. But world loops. Here it's cereal. World loops. Just follow the world. That oh yeah, I was trying to remember what the phrase was. Follow your nose wherever it goes. Yes, that's it. The virtual world is a loop. Loop? Just like in old games, right? Like for example. When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the yep, right. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. The virtual world loops? What in the world? If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of the same wall upstream. And floated with the current until it caught, got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before me? You added that wall. Actually, there wasn't a wall on the y axis at all, and the x axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. Well, at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happen. Huh? It, it doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Yeah, sound doesn't go past the map loading point. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Yes, but first we need to clear, uh, be clear where the loop starts. Where the loop starts. 
Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from the inside the man inside the mansion, then the loop. Where is the looping point? Like here, right? Nope. Okay, 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 okay. The looping point is is through the river. Like the roof, right? Nope. Okay. What is Kibo saying here? If the X axis loops, wouldn't the loop point be running through the world vertically? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if the mic is picking up. <laughs> much. Probably, probably not. Okay. Um, where is the loop? I'm actually a little confused by this because I, I just assume that like once you once we pass through here, non-objects they just appear here. So where does the, where does the point where does the loop point actually loop? Like beyond? based on the logic of the, beyond? Of the signboard and oh okay. Oh, is it quite literally the fucking end of the river? Like like here? <laughs> nope, it's not it. Am I misunderstanding the question, or am I like... Maybe. So, Miu basically kind of tricked them a little bit. Okay. Because um, where is the actual looping point? Oh, oh, like she... Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. I see. But the loading point was actually at the edges. At the edges. So the wall Miyu created wasn't at, uh, at the edges of the world, but rather, her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sound emitted near the chapel would also reach the ma mansion. The only uh, the wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right. That's how the virtual world works. <laughs> Impressive, Shuichi. For you to get this far. Yes, yes, you are useful indeed. For you to get this far. What are you, some villain pulling the strings? Nope, you pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Oh, m m okay. Munchie's got the zooms right now. What was that? <laughs> She's just running around, oh. just attacking things. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Miyu also set this trap. It all began when Miyu showed us the map. Because the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. <laughs> Which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem further away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. There was a wall along the y-axis and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Miyu showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. Ah, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world's secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works, after all. Kokichi talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say. Huh. 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 I'm not going to believe your lies. <laughs> I'm going to believe in everyone. That's how I'm going to reach the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. What is Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaido on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. 
All we have to do is find the culprit who killed Miu. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve, if we can't find the culprit, it would all be for nothing. But I still don't know who, uh, for sure who it could be. Who used Miu's own plan against her to kill her? Against her to kill her. Who killed Miu? Intermission? Yeah, okay. Has there been another mm, trial uh, involving a person who attempted to murder and failed? Like, they ended up being... I'm trying to think if there was. Mm. Yeah, uh, second, second game, Nagito. Then Nagito tried to kill someone? Byakuya some? stops him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Mm. If you haven't seen Danganronpa 2... No, that... Yeah. How, it, what, are you what, are you, what are you doing here, you dick? <laughs> it's also like the first case in that one, so... Man, I'm bushed. I got no motivation at all. And Monophony's period is late, too. Oh... I... I can't... I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Father, why do you know Monophony's cycle? Never mind that. Perhaps his lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Lack of hibernation? Yeah, I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. That's awful. What could be causing it? Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Hmm. Is it because the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? Hmm. Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Mm. Is it because you want to stay friends? Mm. Is it because you want to watch it in real time? Father? He's gone to hibernation. We should let him be. Yeah, you're right. Night, night. Oh, my head! Monotaro, pull yourself together! I feel like I'm forgetting someone important to me, but uh, I just can't! My head! My head hurts so much, I just can't remember! If you've forgotten, maybe that's for the best. From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our- oh, Okay. Our baby's excited to meet his daddy, you know? Daddy? Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? This is such a weird, weird bit. What a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Miyu plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Miyu's actions. So let's discuss our murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see, Miyu manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She wouldn't make the murder seem like it happened in real world and then pin it on Kaito. As for Miu's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. <laughs> All this loading for this. Remember? Oops, my hand slipped, 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 slipped. She passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. After she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Oh yeah, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokiji told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that one culprit killed her? 
That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Miyu did it. If Miyu did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. No say such mean things. Killing game bad, not Miu. Miu not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends if things different. That might have been difficult even without this killing game. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. Nah, -uh, no way, Jose. Huh? <laughs> anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Miu was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Miu's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? Is this like the most disliked, like, in terms of the characters of one of the death deaths? I don't think. Yeah, there's never been an Maybe apathetic. Maybe Nagito. But Nagito, they were like more like in a crisis, right? Yeah. Because they care more about the situation, or yeah. not to say they don't care here. And this one, they're like they're apathetic. They're like, like oh yeah. I didn't like her that much. She was actually very mean. Yeah. So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know that the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mia was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mia's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Miu's avatar through the wall? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Go to not throw her? We know you couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength? Equalized? That problem! Go to don't get protect everyone if that happens! Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Hmm. How did they send Miu's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it? You know, the loud sound you heard? Bang. Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, key boy? That's when you found the dead Miu there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are unrelated. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. They chucked the body. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. Or roll the body down the roof, right? So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be... I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. The hammer, cell phone, and lad uh, lattice? Lattice. Lattice. lattice were there, uh, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with the wall. If that's the case, Miu's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. The lattice was in the storage room. They used it to slide Miu's body down. Okay, got it. We felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Miu's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? My favorite TV show and Jordan Peele film? <laughs> In succession? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Miyu's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one way to think of how to do that. Hey, I'll give you a little hint. You don't need to give me a hint. Yo, what? 
And so the roof was pretty high up, right? It was a pretty steep slope, and the slope faced the chapel wall. I figured it out, right? Basically, or I figured that part and out. The copper needed force to move the body. How could they possibly do? Oh, yeah, it? okay. Yeah, yeah. Cookies has already figured it out, but joke's on him. I figure it out, too. Okay. I'm going to find that answer. Do I really have to... Oh, Hangman's Gambit. Um, uh, That's a question. The question is, how, how did Muse Avatar go crashing into the into the chapel? Uh, well, that's not doesn't spell Latisse, but wall. Oh, wall is W anywhere? Slide? Is there a slid? Slid. Slid. Uh. What is what is this word? Slid via, via, slid. Wait, what is that? Oh, Monokuma bomb thing. Sid, no. A Monokuma bomb thing, huh? Wait. <laughs> the end of games. Yep. Wait, what? What is this middle word? What did it do? Slid. Tell me, say it. Finish sense. What did it do? Slid on the Latisse. Slid. Oh, you're thinking a little too far ahead. Don't forget slid about the, down the don't roof. Forget about the lattice. Slid, slid on the roof. What's the middle word? You slid. don't slid on. I mean, down the roof. Slid <laughs> through the roof. <laughs> through, it went no, through the roof. No. Slid. Oh no, Tim. Tim Allen has the Santa Claus. Uh oh, he. I don't know the act. No, not him. What? The, you watch Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, Santa. He slid down the chimney. <laughs> no. Slid. At the begin. He died. Remember, it's like. Oh he, yeah. He, fell. He slid. Fell. Slid. slid. Off. <laughs> okay. <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> slid through the roof. Oh, well, slid on the roof. The roof. Where's the other? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Slid on the Latisse. <laughs> the culprit used the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. A slide? Nah, man. Even with the slope in the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide through the roof. <laughs> but the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide like a lattice. It wouldn't slide, just like Maki Roll said. It would slide, just like Shumai said. Who the hell is Shumai? Oh, these are people of Ramen Man. Er, sorry, my hobby slipped in. I'm positive that's how Miyu's avatar was moved, but... Maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. Okay, it's the... Oh, do I really have to find this? <laughs> Lattice. <laughs> Lattice. <laughs> it's a Lattice. You know, Lattice, I've been thinking. <laughs> well, Dad, what if I made... It made that much noise. It must have made a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof. But not frozen solid, right? You'd still slide, though. In the real world, it might be difficult. But in the virtual world, perhaps not. That's not the issue. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that around! Maybe there was! <laughs> no, wait. There was something that could, be, could have been used to help slide Miyu's body. Do you remember the lattice that we was found by Miu's avatar? I keep wanting to say Latisse. The culprit laid her on top of that and, I, and then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it! The culprit used the lattice as a sled! Ding ding ding! That's correct! Hmm. 
What the? After the culprit killed me on the rooftop. Oh, the guest starring the, the, the Detective Conan bad guy. This they placed her corpse on a sled. Oh, I don't know. He had a Funko Pop. <laughs> Probably does. You've seen this figure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And slid her down the roof, sleep, the steep slope. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> the sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, gl uh, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. <laughs> the most undignified just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. The impact made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and a cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. I I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and that second movie. Hate I hate that hedgehog! I'm the better mascot! <laughs> uh can't wait for Hollywood's adaptation of Dongan Rampa with uh Chris uh, Pratt voicing Martin. <laughs> I was gonna say fucking um what's the name? Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ben Schwartz as Monokuma and um, Jason Marsden as um, uh, Makoto. <laughs> Makoto, yeah. <laughs> and Jim Carrey as Monophony. <laughs> Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. You gotta be an example. Yeah, gotta be an example to our new family. <laughs> yeah, father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now? This is a weird bit. Now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. It sounds like it's like a Hollywood executive. Like, let's spice it up a bit. Let's give um this uh, mannequin. There's gotta be some fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Maybe the the red one and the pink one. Uh, yeah, they yeah. Fuck and yeah. What the siblings? I mean, Game of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones, and you saw how popular that is. Yeah, listen. Oh, that Jamie Lannister. Oh, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Whoa. The kids will like this. And Idris Elba as Gonta. <laughs> Okay, but I would love that, yeah. <laughs> actually. Uh, going to going to love go, go to love bugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit. Yeah, in the end, we'll st still need to guess the culprit, huh? But well, going to can't believe one of us killed me. <laughs> However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. <laughs> okay, can I request that you uh, that we at, at some point, whether it's for a video or something, do a a a, a, a Hollywood casting of, <laughs> of Dog and Rampa. Rampa? I think that'd be really fun. That would be funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from Mew, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Sumugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. That's real sneaky leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right. Five suspects. Me, Sumugi, Gonta, Kokichi, and Kaito. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. And we'll find out. Do you know who it is? Tomorrow. Tomorrow.